Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. So I like to talk about gear and different things like that, but I always like to make sure that I've reviewed everything that I'm going to talk about. So if I'm talking about Compu Trainers or I'm talking about Scott Bikes or I'm talking about whatever it is, I need you guys to know that I go through and I test the crap out of this stuff before I actually do something or I do a review on it. So I got this piece um, a while back. I probably had it now for three months and the first day that I got the piece, I could not, I mean, I could hardly wait. I found it uh, in Utah. I was down there shopping at uh, Contender Bikes, and um, I came across ASOS there. And I tried one of these pieces on, and I just could not believe how well it fit. So I was telling my son, Kobe, man, when I get this new piece, it's, it's, you're going to love it. So anyway, uh, I took it home. He got it. He tried it on, and he would not take it off. When you try one of these pieces on, you will be absolutely mind boggled. They fit so well, and it's critical that they do fit well, but I mean, they really fit great. And it's kind of like, I don't know, putting on a sock over your body. It's so well put together, it's just amazing, and it feels so good. But that all being said, as I, I keep talking about the fit and the feel, the number one reason I bought it was for warmth. And uh, you're going to spend a little bit on one of these pieces. They're not cheap. But I'll tell you, worth every penny. Because when you wear it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. I can't tell you, even on days it's really chilly outside, I'll just wear this as a regular shirt, just like I've got on right now. I don't even take it out cycling because it's so freaking nice and warm. And it's so comfy just to wear. And so. When you get out there and you're actually riding your bike, and you guys all know I did fat bike races. If you haven't seen the fat bike videos, go check those out. So the first fat bike event I did in this, I was like, okay, I was a little stressed out because I'd been using some other clothing. I used this piece underneath as my base layer, and then I used an arm warmer over this on each side, and I used a jersey that was a, an insulated type of jersey over the top of this. And I'll tell you, it was absolutely amazing. The sweat went through everything the way it should have. I felt so dry, like my skin when I got done. I was blown away. I couldn't believe it, how well it worked. So I thought, you know, coincidence, it was an okay day. And I've tried it several times since then. Absolutely amazing. ASOS does a great job with their clothing. So if you haven't tried it, give this piece a try or some of their pieces. Now, I don't have all their stuff, so I wasn't able to try it all together. And the reason I bought this one is because this piece fits. In Idaho, we have winter, we have winter, and we have winter. I mean, it always seems like it's a little cold. I mean, yeah, we have a little bit of summer, but even on early morning rides, it's a little chilly outside. And this right here, I thought would ideally fit all the conditions that I needed it to. So one thing I want to show you that I really like about it is how well it fits if you put a jersey over it. So I'm going to cut here for just a second and then I'll come back on with the jersey on and you'll kind of see that how it fits really well and how these arms can just be used as an arm warmer by itself. So you can wear a nice kit over the top of this and still get all the benefits of this piece. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so now you can see that I've got my Cycling Strong uh, jersey on over the top of it. And as you can tell, it just goes really well. It's not bulky underneath because it fits so tight. So your jersey can fit really well with it and absolutely have a great ride. And uh, no one knows any of the different that you've got a shirt on as a wicking property for those really cold morning rides and stuff like that. So I give this an absolute 10 out of 10 for a piece that you need to have in your kit. I can't wait to use it this year, Leadville. This piece, if you're riding Leadville, is absolutely ideal to have with you because if the morning's cold, you've got exactly what you need. Coming down Columbine, you got exactly what you need. I mean, it fits so many purposes for that race if it is not a warm day. So that's the main reason I wanted it uh, looking into the future with Leadville this year. Also, the start of Lodija. You all know that that starts off, it's really cold in the morning, and so this is a great piece for that. And so, those are a couple uses I use it for. I like it. I couldn't afford to have all their stuff for sure. So you have to be picky in what you buy. Base layer though, it's phenomenal for that. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this segment. I hope you learned a little bit about it. Go ahead and look this up. This is the five. So they have five out of seven, they have seven pieces. 
This is the fifth one. So this is the early winter piece. So check it out. Let me know what your thoughts are. Make comments below. If there's another video that you want to see us do a review on something, you know, let us know that too. We'd love to uh, do some of those for you so that you get the information that you're looking for. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel. Talk to you soon.